What's up, everybody? You sacks of shit. <laughs> um, we're, we're doing a commentary for all three of the Star Wars, the, well, the prequels at least, oh. and we're starting with The Phantom Menace today. Oh, yeah. Start at the top and work your way down. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going we're gonna to watch this and we're going to scream at it and talk all the shit in the world about it. Fuck yes, because we are. Because it's a, it's a horrible movie. It's, um, I think its <laughs> biggest crime is just that it's boring as shit. And Jar Jar. And also Jar Jar. Fuck Jar Jar. Alrighty, so if we if we both press play at the same time... Well, we'll say when we press play, and then you can sync it up when you're listening to it. Right, hang on, I think so I'm, we'll press... May have buggered this up. No, I haven't. Hey, look at no. that. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, which version do you have, first of all? Because I have the newer version of this with CGI. Yoda. Oh, yeah, that's what I have as well. I have the Blu-ray. Alrighty. Perfect. Because we don't want that weird puppet Yoda. Oh, fuck no, yeah. That was ugly as shit. Anyway, we'll press play in three, two, one. Okay, there we go. 20th Century Fox. Ah, oh, dear. Do you remember? Don't get to see that anymore. Do you remember whenever they used to have this at the start of Star Wars movies? I miss this whenever Disney took over. Yeah, so I miss it a little bit because I like the drum fanfare. Yeah. We still get Lucasfilm at least. No, I like the one that, um, you know, like it, it merges into the Lucasfilm logo. Yeah. Oh, Star Wars, there it is. Hey! The disappointment now, neither of us begins. Have seen... <laughs> so this came out in, what, December of 1999? It did, yep. And everybody went wild for it, just because, you know, we hadn't gotten a Star Wars movie in 20 or 16 years. Yeah, I mean, the hype for this thing was absolutely unreal. Yeah. I mean, big cast, too, like Liam Neeson. Liam McGregor. And Natalie Portman. Yeah, Terrence Stamp, even. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Kieran Knightley. I keep forgetting that Terrence <laughs> Stamp is in this movie, because he's the Chancellor yeah, for like, before Palpatine yeah, takes Valorum. over. Yeah. He's in it for, like, three minutes. <laughs> I know. I think you can actually sum up perfectly the reaction to this movie with Terrence Stamp. Do you know the, like, the part in it where like, he like, sits down and puts his hand to his head? Oh yeah, yeah. I think like turn yeah, turn that you're right. turn that into a gif, and that is my reaction to this movie. What the sweet Christ! I mean, like even that opening crawl. What the hell was that? Yeah. Like it's just all like oh yeah, tra- <laughs> endlessly trade issues and bollocks. Yeah, and endlessly debating. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, do, like do you remember the way the new A New Hope started? Like, I mean, even like the way Empire started, and it was all this like yeah super awesome stuff like oh my god like you know the evil empire is attacking the rebels holy shit this one's like oh my god yeah taxation of trade Trade routes blah blah blah. (laughs) it literally says endlessly debating and that sums up all three of these movies oh jesus wept right Um, i will say this though this is the most <laughs> Star Warsiest of the prequels in terms of its look. Yeah, you know why? Because this move, this out of all the Star Wars movies, this had the most models used. Yeah, because I know that's a model. The shots. Yeah, because like, you see it later on when I it think, clearly blows up. Yeah, and like it's just completely I think hollow on the most inside. Most of the ships. Yeah, most of the ships might be models, but the Naboo, like the shiny ones, probably aren't. I think I remember seeing them as models. I don't know because they say, I know they CGI'd over them to get that super reflective look, but they might have been models to begin with. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, because we saw Ben Kenobi in Episode Four dressed in robes. Naturally, that's what every single Jedi yeah. wears. But that, the th- Owen Lars wears robes in that movie. <laughs> yeah. I just thought it was like a... Everybody on Tatooine wore those. Yeah, I thought it was just a natural outfit for people in Tatooine to wear because yeah. it's like, you know when like, you go to Spain or somewhere and it's roasting hot all the time? You need something that's yeah. breathable. Exactly. F- 
fuck me, this movie is just ne- exhilarating from the get go, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, we've got two. Je- know, right? We've got two Jedi walking into a room and just li- like lazily walking over to a window. Fuck me! Yep. Buckle up, kids. The adventure begins. <laughs> I think a lot of the problems with these is the pacing is off the whole time. Yeah, it, it's like, just it's it's so flat. Look yeah. at it. There, there's not a single and, bit of imagination put into this at all. It's so workmanlike in how it's directed. Yeah, and I think that can be attributed solely to George Lucas. Yeah, what, well, basically sitting in his and chair McCallum. going, faster, more intense. Yeah. I really hope that's we like more, whiskey uh... or some shit that they're drinking. <laughs> Liam Neeson probably would have been drinking something harder. Yeah, I'd like to imagine like like that, like these scenes were filmed toward the ends of the shoot. And just Liam Neeson was like, I, I need to get shit-faced for every single scene that I'm in. Yeah. This is not the movie I expected <laughs> it to be. Well, the reason why he's killed by Darth Maul, spoilers, is because he was um, absolutely pissed drunk and was off his footing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's... No, I think the actual reason was because he was old. But... Mm, yeah, that too, I suppose. But, I mean, like at, at the same time... Yeah, here we go. Like, Look at this. <laughs> yeah that's a model oh, yeah, that's a model for sure yes. yes your first reaction is to get your lightsabers out oh no gas cut yeah, it this is cut the fucker <laughs> cut that this bitch is the... <laughs> that's the first time we see lightsabers in these movies and it's a false alarm like... i know fuck i mean do you know how i would have started this movie with them already in this so the movie starts and yeah. You know, you have the text crawl, and it zooms down to the spaceship, zooms inside it, and it's just these two cotton droids like little bitches. Yeah. This is where I would have started the Great movie. Way to start it. Yeah. Because I, I remember as a kid. Now neither of. What's wrong with your face? But anyway, yeah, like <laughs> I remember watching this as a kid. I'm being so excited at the scene whenever Qui-Gon sticks the lightsaber through the blast doors and it starts to heat up yeah. and melt. I was like, that is so cool. But it's just these, it's these little teeny moments where you're like, this is class, mixed with a lot of, what yeah. the fuck am I watching? Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking class. The Like, there's so many, there's so few parts, I mean, that are actually good that it makes the rest of the, what, 10 hours, uh, 10 hours, 2 hours and 20 minutes yeah, just shit. Of just boring, tripe cringe. Yeah. Look at that! That is ne- so cool! Because, <laughs> well, they never do that again, really, do they? No! I mean, that's just to show what the full <laughs> power of a lightsaber is. Yeah. Now, neither of us have seen these in quite some time. No, we have not. So this is going to be um, a shit fest. Oh, fuck. Watch Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon <laughs> closely here. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah, they zoom what away. What the fuck was uh, that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's the only time they ever do it. It's just the weirdest thing. Would you smoke too many cigarettes? What's wrong <laughs> with your face? I'm a big Red Letter Media fan. Just putting that out there. I, I haven't seen anything by that. Oh, God, you got to watch the Plinkett reviews. I think they're the most notorious <laughs> reviews of the prequels. Yeah, I've heard a lot about them. I've just never... you got to sit down and watch them. Watching them. you you yeah. got to do it. They're funny as hell. They're really, really informative and really good. Yeah. I've heard good things. Yeah, because that, that's what that's... At least they're not, um... That's what that's from, you know, like... What's wrong with your yeah. face? <laughs> it, it does beg the question. question, yeah. What the fuck is wrong with your face? You've got, like, what looks like <laughs> ice cream scoops over your eyes. Yeah. Like, what the fuck yeah. happened to you? I think... I want to say that, like, based on some sort of bug, like a dragonfly or something. I think it's just a massive space racism. Because they're clearly supposed <laughs> well, to be they're Asian. they're based on China, yeah. Yeah, because there's a lot of Eastern aesthetic 
details that are put Influence, into this. Yeah. Because even if you look at Queen Amidala, like uh, there's one scene on yeah. Coruscant where she's dressed as a geisha. Yep. Like she, like not even like a space geisha. She's dressed like a geisha. a geisha. Yeah. Well, and George Lucas has notoriously been very political, especially in the original trilogy. Like, oh yeah, well that that was more obvious he... with the Nazi symbolism and so on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. oh my God, this entire movie, movie summed up in a scene: people <laughs> sitting around in rooms, listening to people talk absolute yep. bollocks. Yep. <laughs> Every time it's just a shot of somebody sitting in a room talking, you have to take a drink. Oh my <laughs> god, they're all so invested. Chancellor Palpatine, uh, you know, what's going he, on? That guy, <laughs> that guy was fired, um, Captain Panaka, I think, because uh, in the second one he wanted to see the entire script, and they said no because you're in it for like three minutes. Yeah. So he was replaced with Jailer Guy. Oh my god, serious? Yeah. Fucking hell. Even behind the scenes. Oh, dude. That, that, oh, like, yeah. These movies were just a complete fucking shambles. Oh, yeah. They're not done very well. Well, okay. I remember enjoying these movies a lot as a kid. Yeah, yeah. But the, but... but the thing is, when you're a kid, you tend to like let all the boring shit kind of wash over you. And you're yeah. like, when's the next space battle? When's the next lightsaber fight? Yeah. Like, stuff like this, and, I would have well, been super invested in as a kid. Yeah. I... The thing is, with Star Wars, they're, they're all four kids, really, so you can't... You can't get too mad at them, as long as they do what they're supposed to do, I guess, but... But the thing is, right, for, for kids, especially now... And I, I remember it being the case back in 1999 for a lot of people... You need you need to make these exciting, and the trouble yeah. is, as we said, it's just scenes upon scenes of people sitting around talking about <gasps> bureaucratic nonsense. Yeah. Oh fuck oh, me! God. Here he is. <laughs> what is it? Eleven minutes. Yep, eleven minutes in. Oh god! The Christ. greatest thing that ever happened to Star Wars. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, surely. Fuck me! Do you know what? Honestly. <laughs> All would have been forgiven if in episode 9, instead of it being Palpatine coming back, it was Jar Jar. <laughs> it was Jar Jar. <laughs> Honestly, I, I would fall to my yeah. knees and I would suck the dick of Bob Iger, fucking George Lucas. I would eat out Kathleen Kennedy. I swear to God, oh, God. I, I would do it. I would fucking do it. And I would let J.J. Abrams bum the Christ out of me if Jar Jar turned out to be <laughs> the ultimate bad guy. All of this was an it's act. It's what they should have done. <laughs> this, all this bullshit, a complete farce. He's there. Do you know what he should have been? Darth Plagueis just the wise. Yeah, or Snoke. Or Snoke, yeah. Fuck me. But, well, I don't know if you know, but Michael Jackson infamously wanted to play Jar Jar Binks. Michael Jackson wanted to have sex with the Home Alone kid. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> let, let, let's, <laughs> let's not mince our words here, you know? <laughs> Michael Jackson yeah, had a Michael lot Jackson of crazy shit. Sex. Michael Jackson had a yeah. pet monkey. And I'm pretty sure that's where the and 80s AIDS epidemic started. Oh, God. The monkey was called Bubbles, I think. Yeah. It has, a it has a secret <laughs> first name, Spunk. <laughs> Oh, and that's why his fur was matted all the Look time. Look at the... Sorry, I'm just looking at Obi-Wan there. His eye line <laughs> was completely off for Jar Jar. He was clearly looking yeah, at... Because yeah. the, the way they shot this, they had Ahmed Best in a suit. So where Jar Jar's neck yeah. is, that's where Ahmed Best's head is. So he was clearly staring at Ahmed Best in the eyes instead of looking up at Jar Jar's yeah. face. Yep. Fucking hell, I haven't even noticed that before. This is the first time I have watched <laughs> this movie on my 72-inch screen, so I'm picking up all this shit. Yeah, and you're watching in Blu-ray too, I'm not. I know, oh fuck. Oh god. See, things like this See, are I didn't class. mind this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, look at this. This It's a nice little bit of world building. It shows the underwater city. It's a great, it's a well-composed shot. The yeah. underwater stuff looks fantastic. I learned this the other day that the Gungan leader, Boss Nass, is Brian Blessed. That's right, yeah. Gordon's alive! <laughs> yeah. One of the best British actors of all time, and he's in, well, I guess Christopher Lee's in this as well, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's in the next two. But, yeah. oh, fuck. He's actually a good part of those. He's great, yeah. I fucking love Christopher Lee as Dookie. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace, sir, rest in peace. He's been dead for four years. Get the fuck out of here. No, 2015. Fuck. It didn't seem that long ago. So, like, I mean, even um, Carrie Fisher as well, she's dead, what, like, three yeah. years, is it? Yeah, three years, 2016. Fuck. That's um, yeah. that's really the, the wonder, the beauty, and the respect that Hollywood shows. That Carrie Fisher has been dead yeah. three years, and she's got a new movie coming out next week. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. hell. Are you, are you going to the... Uh, do you have a midnight screening for it? We do, yes. Me and Anthony are going to be rocking up to that. Yeah. What date is that? Is that the that's 20th or the, the 19th? the 18th night, I think. I am. Let me check my calendar. Okay. So you get it. The same day as me. Then. Yeah, it's this day next week. Yeah, okay. Fuck me. So this day next yeah. week, I will be... What time is it here now? Yeah, it's um, it's 11 minutes to midnight where I am at the moment. So this time next week, yep. I will be in the cinema, eagerly awaiting to be greatly disappointed. <laughs> yeah. So you actually get it before me, shit. Yeah. I'll be able to walk out and go, yeah, Barely. yeah it was as bad. Bad as everyone thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, I think it might be better than The Last Jedi. Being kicked in the face by a horse and then shot on by it <laughs> would be better than The Last Jedi at this point. Isn't that how Christopher Reeve died? <laughs> yeah. Pretty, well, no, that's how he was paralyzed. <laughs> I mean, like, it took a long oh, yeah. time to succumb yeah. to his wounds. But yeah, that's, that's yeah. basically what happened. Yeah. Oh, you don't have Disney Plus yet. You don't get that till next we year. We don't get that till March, I believe. Yeah. So you haven't seen any of The Mandalorian, have you? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe I have. I pirated it as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's fucking... Most people. Have. It's fucking class. It's the best thing that's happened to Star Wars since... Empire. Return of the Jedi. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's the best thing that happened to Star Wars since Empire. For me, anyway. Um, I think it's fucking sublime. Do you know what it basically is? It's it's like if Judge Dredd was set in space and it was a western. You know, I haven't seen Judge Dredd. Yeah, oh, sorry, no, not Judge Dredd. Uh, Dredd, you know, the uh, the <laughs> Carl Urban version, not the fucking Sly Stallone. No, version. I haven't seen that one either. Uh, it's fucking great. The one with Lena Headey yeah, in it. Yeah, because that's... A Oh, yeah. That's a comic property, I think. It is, yes. Yeah, 2000 AD. Uh, basically, the, the whole idea yeah, with right. Judge Dredd is that he he basically sticks to his code, he sticks to his morals, and he never takes his helmet off. So he's essentially... So he's, a Mandalorian. he's essentially a <laughs> Mandalorian, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, he's, is he judge, jury, and executioner? He is indeed, that? yes. That's what the yeah. judges are. Yeah. Right. Okay. I had a l and there's they're basically the police. They are, yeah. The 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 police okay. are the courts, and they're the um the yeah, you know the, the hangman essentially. Yeah, I yeah. actually had a Lego set of this submarine as a kid. Yeah, it was really really cool. Like the little front pod could detach, and like it had this little back section mm -hmm. that opened up and had a little submarine inside it, a little mini sub. Yeah, I think they remade it in like 2012 in. Well, actually, it's 20 years of this movie this year, as well as Lego Star Wars. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm old. That makes you feel old, doesn't I'm it? I'm so <laughs> fucked. Honestly, yeah. in two months' time, I will have been on this fucking planet for three decades. Yeah. Three fucking decades. <sighs> That's a long time, uh, even though it's not compared to other people. But... Fuck, I feel like it's been more... <laughs> that's all the uh, oh the alcohol oh well yeah oh and um <laughs> listen to us 
There you go. That is the most Northern Irish yep. that Liam Neeson sounds in this entire movie. There's always a bigger fish. There's always yep. a bigger fish. I can't tell if he's actually good in this movie or not. Or if he's completely hamming he's it up. He's not. No one's good in this movie. <laughs> well, Ewan McGregor is. Even still, there's a lot of lines he comes out with that are ropey and forced yeah. as fuck. The uh, the best part of these is Ian McDermott as Chancellor Palpatine. Yeah, because he's chewing he every last piece of scenery that he can get his fucking hands on. <laughs> oh, we had Darth Maul in this shit. Yeah, we do. Played by the same guy. Ray Park. Yep, played by the same guy who played Toad in X-Men. And voiced by right. the guy that's like, uh, and the front door is open again. From uh, Sean of the Dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah. also and Guardians, of the, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. And, well, he had his own TV show for like a year. He did indeed, yeah. Peter Ferris and a witch show. Sarah Fenovitz. He's really good at impressions. He is excellent, yeah. Like, he does a, um... Who is it? Well, he does all the Beatles, but he does the Beatles singing. Yeah. See, I can only sort of do George. You know, it's a little bit <laughs> Well, weird. it's kind of all of them, really. Yeah, well, you know, they all sort of sounded <laughs> the same. Yeah. Like, what's that fucking family uh, guy joke? Where they're like, um... Oh, yeah, I dated a girl with one leg. Ha! <laughs> what's her name? Peg! That's enough of that, lads. <laughs> oh, I've got it. How yeah. about Eileen? Oh, Ringo's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need to watch that show more. Do you know what, Family Guy? Fur fucks to it. It's still trying its best. It yeah. hasn't got I think to it's... zombie Simpsons territory. No. And it's been on yet. a long fucking time. It's been on 20 years as oh, well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, to be fair, it was cancelled twice. Yeah, but I mean, like, I remember not being allowed to watch South Park whenever I was, like, yeah. 10. Oh, yeah. And now I'm nearly you know, 30 still and it's still it. fucking going. South Park is yeah. an incredible piece of television because yeah. in its 20 plus years that it's been on air, it's only ever had like one, maybe two bad seasons. Yeah. Because it's more satirical than all the other ones. It is. It? Whenever they got into the whole Trump and Hillary Clinton shit a couple of years ago, they oh, really yeah. shot the yeah. bed because they bet hard that Clinton was going to win. So they had to change oh, yeah. their entire thing, <laughs> their the entire arc of their series halfway through because Trump got into power. Yeah. Yeah. How did that happen? Oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> it turns out that, uh, that racism, hatred, and intolerance are still the the biggest factor whenever it comes to voting. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Boy, I cannot wait for another five years of a Tory government here in the UK. It's, it's seriously, it's going to be yeah. Mad Max. Well, Mad Max is in Australia, but yeah, but that, it's <laughs> going to happen here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> what is wrong with the world? I don't know. We need to start loving each other a bit more and Pe hating each other a lot less. Yeah, <laughs> that, I think that's the problem. Most people are really selfish and don't give a fuck about anybody else. It's in your nature to destroy yourselves. <laughs> did you see that new Terminator movie? I did, yes. It's shit, right? I liked it, but not... And I, I liked it in a way that... It didn't have much competition in terms of other Terminator movies to compare it to. <laughs> well, because there's only two other good ones, isn't there? Yeah, well, Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. <laughs> fucking class. Yeah. But, um... Ter See, I... I'm not a big fan of those movies, and maybe that's just because I hate James Cameron, but... You hate James Cameron? Yeah. Yeah, good call. <laughs> <laughs> he is genuinely so far up his own hole he needs a glass stomach to oh, see where yeah. he's going like he said Aquaman was shit because the water physics weren't realistic like what the fuck yeah whatever you I do. see what I think's happened he's been down looking at that wreck of the Titanic so much he's in those little submersibles yeah. <laughs> that are highly pressurized and they've clearly fucked with his brain yeah. 
No, you know what I think it is? He's got Martin Scorsese syndrome, where nobody cares about him anymore, and he just wants to be in the spotlight. Yeah, and, like, every movie that he's made recently is just trying so hard to prove how relevant he is. Yeah. Well, even Francis Ford Coppola did it, didn't he? He said Marvel movies would despicable. Oh, fuck, yeah, this whole fucking bullshit. Do you know what it is? It's and it's guys that used to be on top of their game who didn't roll with yeah. the punches and move with the times and now got left behind in history, desperately trying to stay relevant. Yeah, and Martin Scorsese has made the same film 15 different times. He really... With different titles. He really fucking has. Like, have you seen The Irishman? Yeah. No, I'm not going to. It's like three and a half hours long. It is. I, I stuck it on one day. I powered through it. And do you know what it is? It's The Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. It literally is. It's the exact same fucking movie. I, did you, I presume you watched Joker. I watched... Sorry, what was that? I presume you watched Joker. I did watch Joker, yeah. Which is basically Taxi Driver with a DC character. Yeah, that's exactly what... I've been saying, and it's right. And I really like Taxi Driver as a movie, but I thought Joker was shit for the most part. Joker was a poor facsimile of, like... It was, like, the king of comedy with Taxi Driver, but yeah. done on such a bland, basic level. Yeah. That, like, for all the, the talk of, oh, my God, there's so much grit in this, and, the, and, the, and it's so real world, it just felt so flat to me. Like, it, it didn't feel like any yeah. of these characters were real. No. I will admit, Joaquin Phoenix did a good job at what he was supposed to do. Yeah. But, because I read the leaked script before the movie came out, because I wasn't overly excited for the movie. Yeah. And I thought the script was good, and then I watched the movie, and it was somehow worse. Yeah. It's just, and it's very disjointed, I find. Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed how we've immediately stopped talking about this movie because it's so bad? Yeah, well, in all fairness, we have missed nothing. Oh my god, look! That's it's, true. it's the R2. secret origin of R2-D2. <laughs> like we fucking needed one. Yeah. Honestly, if they didn't... With all of his weird... Yeah, with all his fucking weird Suicide Squad mates here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But do you know what? See if they didn't put this scene into this movie. We would have gotten, and I shit you not, R2-D2, a Star Wars story. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to see that. I really fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, because it would have C-3PO in it, and he's just a twat. It wouldn't. It would have R2 with all his other little R2 droid buddies fucking around with spaceships and shit like that you would find out the secret <laughs> origin of why he's got rockets in his legs that allow him to fly <laughs> and then right at the end and he would bump into C-3PO and C-3PO would go hello, I'm C-3PO human cyborg relations and, it, and he would blip at it and just the text would say <laughs> let's be lovers end credits <laughs> Let's fuck. Let's fuck. Let's have hot robo <laughs> sex. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are bad. Oh, well, there he is again. Uh, They're sitting down and talking. What a surprise! Fucking hell! It's so exhilarating. I'm I, I'm hooked. Honestly, I'm so fucking hooked. Right? Do you know what we were talking about yeah. Terminator earlier? At least back in the day, yeah. Cameron knew how to do great expository dialogue. You do it on the fucking move. You don't just yeah. have people sit down and explain the fucking plot to each other. Yeah. Look. Or you just I, don't do it at all. I'm introducing Darth Maul. He's a bastard. <laughs> Look at him. Be afraid of him. He's a dick. You, he, he's literally just standing there. Show him cutting bitches yeah. left, right and center. I feel Ray Park is quite short, so he doesn't seem very intimidating in real life. Oh, but he's quite beefy. You know for a fact he was wearing lifts like crazy. I think I've met Ray Park. Oh yeah, really? Have I? I think I met him in Dublin. I met. Huh, I met Peter Heck Mayhew a couple of years ago before he died. I keep fucking forgetting that he died. 
Yeah. Like, I, it was only this year. Was it right enough? Yeah, Shit. it was earlier this year. Like, I, I actually met him over in Germany. I met him. I met Carrie Fisher. I met uh, Mark Hamill. Oh, really? Um, who the fuck else? What? Warwick Davis was there. Um, oh, of yeah. course, Anthony fucking Daniels was there. And Daniels. Yeah. yeah. God love him. Like, I mean... He, no, Harrison Ford. No, Harrison Ford was nowhere to be fucking seen. He was off no. having a successful career. Yeah. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, who, who the fuck else was there? Uh, Ian McDermott was there. Palpatine was there. Um, right. Was Kenny Baker? Uh, I think he was dead at that point. Really? Yeah. I don't know. When the fuck did Kenny Baker die? I thought he died after Carrie Fisher. Did he? No, he, think he so. definitely wasn't there. Okay. And then I met a couple of people from hmm. uh, Clone Wars and shit like that. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, see, if I had to pick somebody that I could have a conversation with from all of these movies, it would have to be Christopher Lee, because he just is was the nicest guy, it seems. Oh, shit, yeah. And, I mean, the amount of stuff you could talk to him about. You talked to him about Dracula, oh, you yeah. talked to him about Lord of the Rings. Killing Nazis. Fucking cutting bitches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm just thinking Cause he was... as well? Sorry to distract you from your Christopher Lee fan wank, no, but... Right. Uh, uh, what what is really missing from these movies is a Millennium Falcon type ship. Not, yeah, like not, a, a home base. Yeah, not the Falcon itself. But say this ship, for example. If this returned yeah. in episodes two and three, if it was just Padme's Bullet. ship, yeah, I think that would have worked. Well, it does show up in the next one, the very start. No, it's a completely different ship. Is it? Yeah, are you talking about the one that gets blown up? Yeah. That's a different ship. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Huh. It looks similar. It's all chrome. And oh, reflective. you're right, it is too. Uh, it looks like the like the B2 bomber, doesn't it? It does, yeah, because it's got the two engines on either side. Yeah. 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 You're right, it is a different one. Do you want to talk about Ghostbusters? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That, that, this is all just <laughs> absolute nonsense wandering in a fucking desert, and it's not even oh, yeah. it's not even proper Tatooine either. It's a different fucking town. No. Well, it's the same desert at least. They did film it in Tunisia, but yeah, and they had a massive hurricane, and it wiped out the entire set one day. Well, George Lucas took that as a good omen because the same thing happened on New Hope. Oh yeah, do you know what you should have taken as a good omen? That everyone oh. that you looked at <laughs> when you were making this movie had the exact same facial expression. And that facial expression <laughs> was, this is shit, but I can't say anything because yeah. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think he realized after he'd finished it at that point. Yeah, there's that infamous clip from the uh, the making of the movie yeah. after the, the screening. I think I've gone too far with this one. Yeah, it's, it's the guy, it's the editor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, I feel so bad for the editor of this movie. There's yeah. actually bits in it where he's trying to crop the movie and trying to change it so that someone in the same shot as someone else reacts quicker. I shit you not. Like, right. I, and it's the most oh, yeah. banal That's right. shit. Because George Lucas was super pedantic about everything. Oh, God. It's the look on his face, man. Like, see, after that screening's yeah. over and Lucas has that going too far line, cut to him. And he's got this look on his face like, this was this entire <laughs> endeavor yeah. has been completely fucking pointless. What the fuck have I just done? And hey, that's what you want in your kid's movie. Fucking pedophilia. <laughs> We're a yeah. 15, well, she's 14. Well, a 14-year-old girl wants to fuck a 9-year-old. That, yeah. A nine-year-old <laughs> wanting to fuck a 14-year-old, I totally buy. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> Nine-year-olds nine <coughs> wanted to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm you. fucking allergic to this bullshit. <laughs> Who isn't? Oh, fuck, it's the kid from Jingle All the Way. Oh, that's the only reason he was hired for this movie. Yeah. That, like, honestly, like if you watch that beginning documentary, there's another kid that's got short, spiky blonde hair... He would have been yeah, perfect. Because he's got that sort of look to go. him that's like really super fucking dark. 
Like he yeah. looks like he could grow up to just like like he looks like that type of kid that you see down by the stream torturing animals. <laughs> God. I feel I, I feel bad for Jake Lloyd though because I think he might still be in jail. He's either but I'm not in sure. jail or in a mental asylum at this point. Yeah. Or in a crack house. Yeah. Poor fucking kid, man. Yeah, this movie ruined his career completely. Why? Ruined his life. It did, actually. Why the fuck they ever decided to show Darth Vader as a nine-year-old boy, I don't understand. Like, realistically... These movies... Like, th like this entire movie is completely fucking pointless. Yeah. Because when you go to the next well, movie, he's already a fucking teenager. Yeah. Well, yeah, because he's 19 in the next one. Yeah. Because it's 10 years later. So <laughs> The problem... Like, what, what yeah. I would have done is, right... Like, uh, this is how you meet Anakin Skywalker. He's about 15, 16 years old. He's living rough on the streets of Tatooine. He doesn't have a mom. He doesn't have a dad. He has nothing. He's not even a slave. He's just running around being a bit of a dick to people. And he can... Jump higher than certain people so he can steal things and get away a lot easier. He can move things with his mind, but he's not sure why. And that's how they discover him. So yeah. he's already sort of broken in a way because he's been abusing his powers, whereas the Jedi learn how to use their powers yeah. for, for good. And they learn about the Force and they learn all this shit, right? Like, this guy is using them all completely selfishly and it's, it's twisted yeah. him already. So no matter what Obi-Wan does, no matter what Qui-Gon does to try and help him, he's still got that selfish need inside him that turns him to the dark side. Yeah. One, I feel like the main problem with these movies is they're completely inconsequential because we know what happens. Yeah, I mean, there, there's potential there. You, you yeah. could have told a completely different story. Didn't have to be about the Clone Wars, feel... didn't have to be about the rise of, yeah. of Palpatine or anything like that, and have Anakin's transformation into Vader be a part of it, but not be integral to mm. it. These movies should have been what Rogue One ended up being, I feel. Yeah, I can see that. But uh, like, it should have been because... completely different. It, it should have been a war with someone else, yeah. and that war winds down as the trilogy goes on, eventually it ends... And every, all the characters think, thank fuck that's over. Then <laughs> yeah. the fucking empire start to rise. Yeah. Well, they, they do kind of think that, though, don't they? In, in the third one. <laughs> yeah, like, but, I mean, against fucking droid armies and, and all this fucking shit, yeah. you know? Like, and the clones as well. Like, why, why not make... Because, like, uh... Ben Kenobi has the line in episode four, uh, like him and uh, uh, fucking Luke's dad, they were like buddies and they fought in the Clone Wars. Yeah. Why? Why the fuck is it called the Clone Wars if the clones were on the good guy's side? Like, why is it not called the yeah, the, the 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 fucking droid wars or some fucking bollocks? You know, like. Why not make the clones these genetic mutation fuckbags that came from the outer limits of the galaxy to try and take over the world, try to take over the universe, and it was up to the Jedi to try yeah. and stop them? I, I don't know, but I think it might have been called the Clone Wars simply because the droids were around before the clones were. Oh, fuck, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really care at this point. No, me neither. <laughs> like, I mean, the worst thing about Star Wars is that it never introduces anything new. It's always the same shit over and over again. Like, uh, yeah. episodes four... Well, these ones did. Four, five, and six were okay because they were the originals. And, like, you know, you could do things like yeah. uh, have a, an entire desert planet, have an entire swamp planet, have a planet where everyone yeah. lives in the sky have a planet of trees, fuck it, whatever. But then you go back to these episodes and it's always the same shit. It's always take one element and make an entire planet out of it. 
So in this one, yeah. we're back in Tatooine again. Then we get to Coruscant, the, and the entire planet's a city. And then we like we get to Mustafar yeah. in episode three. The entire planet's a fucking volcano planet. Yeah, Camino's just water. Yeah, Camino's the water planet. You know, like and it, it kind of goes on like this. Welcome to the worst fucking idea that this movie introduces. <laughs> a nine-year-old Darth C-3. Vader built C three PO. What? The fuck? C three PO and Vader never see each other, do they? In the original trilogy, no, they don't. The closest they get to is on Bespin, but then again, like three PO is kind of broken at that point, and I th- yeah, because he's on Chewie's back. I don't know if he's on Chewie's back whenever Vader and Boba Fett confront them, but that that oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you're right, because he was in the um. The, the Ugnaught place. Yeah. So he wasn't in that scene at all. Right. It's, well, same way that Yoda never sees Chewbacca again. That's true, yeah. That we know of until we get Yoda, a Star Wars story. Well, <laughs> well, that's kind of what the Mandalorian is, maybe. Yeah, like where he goes off, meets the female gremlin. They bang one night. <laughs> She gets pregnant. Yaddle. Baby Yoda arrives. I the theme song to the Mandalorian is the greatest thing ever. Isn't it class? It's like a real proper old western. Yeah. yeah. It's I don't even know it's oh, There's so many instruments in it. But it's I don't even know what it is that I like about it's it. It's just it's really subtle. Yeah. Like, it, they didn't do the whole fucking dun 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 No. Yeah. But, I don't, yeah. That show is just fantastic all through and through. Yeah. I just love in this scene, that they're just kind of hanging out. Just, <laughs> yeah. come, come with me, my young tattooed-faced apprentice. Let's go for a walk around this balcony. It's a beautiful <laughs> evening. The <laughs> moons are shining bright. In the middle of a giant city where everybody can see you. Yeah. I like, we know for a fact that there are, like, probe droids. There are surveillance droids. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? How many lines does Peter Serafinowicz have in this? Is it like three or four? I think we just heard them all. <laughs> what was the point of casting a separate voice actor? Because right, but it's like with um, Darth Vader. You know, like, yeah, like like the original guy he was a bit West Country. Tear the ship apart yeah, right. till you find those plans and find me the princess. I want her alive. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like something out of Lord of the Rings. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, In the Shire, uh, Master Frodo, but <laughs> but um, <laughs> potatoes, potatoes. I like taters, Master Boil Frodo. Boil them, mash them. Boil them, mash them, put them in Stick a them in a stew. Stick them in a stew. <laughs> Lord Vader. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, another thing that they're missing. They don't. They don't have a ship. They don't have a consistent yeah. bad guy. Like you can you can no. argue that it's Palpatine, but Palpatine isn't menacing as a threat. He's just the guy that He doesn't do anything till the third. Exactly. And even then, whenever that happens, it is fucking laughable. But like, <laughs> like they the, they have the guy that sits in the chair and goes, Yes, I'm a bastard and I will get you to do my bidding. But you don't show a guy like that getting up Doing what can only be described as a CGI hurricane mitter while igniting a red <laughs> lightsaber <laughs> and kicking the fuck out of Samuel L. Jackson. You don't do that shit. Yeah. Like, that's no. why he has Vader in 4, 5, and 6. He's his right-hand man. Yeah. He's the guy where he goes, You, I want you to ignite your lightsaber and fuck him up. You know, like... To be fair, though, he was confronted in... Revenge of the Sith, so it wasn't really up to him at that point. Do you know they should have done that scene? They should have had Anakin rock up there at that point. Already be a dick. And just go, Lord Vader, your first test awaits. 
Miss Windu's like, no, Anakin, motherfucker, come back to the light side, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Anakin's like, no, I'm a whiny little bitch now. I'm going to cut you with my fucking lightsaber because Padme. Right? And he's like, motherfucker, you're going to fuck me up, motherfucker. That's fine with me, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm going to be fucking Nick Fury in a couple of years' time, bitch. I don't need this Star Wars shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong you know I mean like so much shit that could have been different with these well it, it could have ended up that way because Mace Windu says to Anakin I want you to go to the Jedi temple and stay there he could have just been like no fuck you yeah and then go on with him anyway. and that scene I really think Anakin should have turned around and went yeah, bro, it would have been so much cooler if you told me to go to the Jedi Temple and murder all the younglings. <laughs> it's like, yeah. bitch you out your mind, motherfucker! I've <laughs> had it with these goddamn Jedi in this motherfucking temple! <laughs> <laughs> they should have put F-bombs in these movies. They really should have. I mean, as far as I'm concerned... R2-D2 is a filthy-mouthed fuck of a character. Oh, yeah. Everything he says is just, fuck you, eat shit, suck one of my extension yeah. fucking things that I stick into walls randomly to make doors open. <laughs> well, in one of these movies, I'm pretty sure C-3PO tells R2 to watch his language. Yeah. He's just a dirty bastard. Yeah. Do you know what I think? Like, for me, R2-D2 is essentially... The guy on the construction site that has been there too long, he's pretty much lost his voice in terms of the amount of cigarettes that he's smoked and the amount of sawdust he's inhaled. <laughs> and he is just the filthiest, most nastiest yeah. dipshit you'd ever meet. <laughs> he's the guy that's... But he's not as bad as Anakin. He's the guy that whenever a hot lady walks past, he starts the cart, the, the cat calls. And, and he yeah. sounds like this. All right, lovely. Oh, show us some <laughs> leg. Oh, so he's what? I would rip you in off like a phone book. Oh my god! I'm gonna split you like dry lumber. But I'm away down to shops now because I need to get a pack of lumber and butler. <laughs> That's basically R two D two. Watto, essentially, is what you just did. Watto is the guy that's like, Hey, man. Hey, hey. Did your sister say anything about me yet, man? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you, you got any pot on you? It'd be a lot cooler if you did, man. <laughs> hey, you want to buy a little slave, boy? That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a mix between an Italian and a Jewish stereotype. They're all stereotypes in this movie. That's true. Like, honestly, like... Oh, the... this little Rodian kid. There's a little green dude coming up, and apparently it's Greedo. It's not Greedo, because in a deleted scene, you actually see baby Greedo. Because like, he comes up to him, and uh, I'm like, okay. I think he gets into a little bit of a fight with Anakin. And uh, one of the guys yeah. goes... Oh, you'd better watch your temper, Greedo. It could get you shot in a pub a couple of years from now. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Newana Wanga, whatever the fuck. McClonke. <laughs> yeah, he didn't say McClonke in this no. one. <laughs> Be a lot cooler if you did, man. McClonke <laughs> is where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> what if George Lucas went back and every single line ever spoken was just McClunky? Do you know what? I really think, like, um... What the fuck was that? Yeah, like, see all the boring, shitty scenes where they're all standing around talking about nothing? Like, just every once in a yeah. while, like, in, in a special edition remaster of this, George Lucas should just go back and every once in a while just have one of the characters say... Yes, so you will go to the McClunky <laughs> Alliance and there, McClunky. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, like, uh, oh, fuck, that's right, you don't watch South yeah. Park, but, like, there's a, um, no. th there's a great joke where there's aliens that appear in the town and they're from the planet Marklar 
and they keep using oh, Marklar as nouns and verbs for everything. <laughs> so they're like, oh yes, we are from the planet Marklar, and we would like to Marklar your Marklar by the 12th of Marklar. <laughs> yeah. My name is Marklar. I really think they should do that. Just, just like, fucking put in nonsense yeah. that means fuck all, so some dipshit can write a fucking book called Understanding the Language of Star Wars. And it's... Well, McClunky is Star Wars story. Yeah, McClunky is, is so radically different from McClunky. They're yeah. both the same, they're both spelled the same, but how you pronounce it can mean the difference between hello, how are you, <laughs> and I had sex with your dead sister. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and you know for a fact the dead sister pronunciation would be McClunky. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I felt that in my bones. <laughs> Oh, there's a storm coming, William. I can feel it in me bones. It's going to fuck your sister. <laughs> but my sister's dead. He's yeah. a necrophiliac. <laughs> no, it's going to fuck your sister. My sister's dead. Mm, McClunky. Mm, McClunky. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. No, it's not. The script isn't working. Needs another rewrite. No. <laughs> oh. Jesus fuck. I mean, <laughs> like at, at this point in Empire, they'd already done the AT-ATs in the snow. Oh, like, yeah. they, they'd already done like Luke going to Dagobah and, and like fucking around with drunk slash high Yoda. They'd already done like the, the <laughs> fucking um, the, the asteroid chase with the Falcon. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? How far are we into this? I don't know. Oh, we're not even halfway yet. Jesus fucking wept. I mean, like, <laughs> a grand total of absolutely fuck all has happened so far. Yeah. They found a little boy and that's it. Yeah, I mean, why? Why did they make him nine? Make him the same age yeah. as fucking Padme so that the romance can start now. <laughs> Oh, midi chlorians, fuck. Oh, uh, Christ. Apparently, there's an interview with George Lucas from 1977 where he says midi chlorians. Yeah, but that's the re-release special edition interview from 1997. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think it was from a magazine, actually. Fuck well, George, that's a fucking bad idea. Yeah. Like... The, one of the best things about those original movies is the mysticism and the mysteriousness behind the Force. Yeah. Like, the second you pull back yeah. the curtain, you ruin it. Yeah. It's like Wizard of Oz. Yeah. It's all about maintaining the illusion. Yeah. Um, suspension of disbelief. Yeah. Why, 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 what is the Force? How does it work? It just fucking does, mate. Yeah. Exactly. You either got it or you it's don't. what they should have done. Well, because they retcon that, don't they? Everybody has it. It's just the amount that you have that differs, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's some bullshit about how um, if you have like a high metachlorian count in your blood, they can somehow reach out and tap into the force. Yeah. Just pulled my mic off my He tried trip. to explain it. Just put, put my <laughs> mic back on. There you go. So, <clears throat> sorry to the three people who thought it would be a good idea to get shit-faced and listen to two drunks ramble on about fucking <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, why is he wearing a muumuu? Just because. <laughs> Look at him. Fuck me. This is the guy from Taken. Yeah. Well, this was before that, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the guy from Love Actually. Oh, fuck Love Actually. That's a great movie. I fucking love Martin Freeman's bits with um, Joanna Page. Oh, yeah. Do you like the, like, the porn well, stand-ins? The so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, she was hot as shit <laughs> back in the day. Oh, Kira Knightley's in that, though. 
Yeah, Keira Knightley kind of fell apart a little bit after Pirates of the Caribbean. As in she didn't do anything? or Yeah, I mean, she just kind of went off the boil. Yeah. See, that's the trouble with English actresses. They reach a certain age, which is usually around 35, yeah. and then they immediately <laughs> just go into period dramas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not wrong. Like, I mean, I remember Keira well, Knightley being fucking badass in movies like Domino and stuff. But then, like, you mm -hmm. flash forward to now, and she's just irrelevant now. She's gone. Yeah. What was the last thing that she was in? I think it was the last parts of the Caribbean. She had, like, a cameo at the end of it or some shit. Uh, I didn't even watch that movie. No, no I stopped. Like, after three, I was like, <laughs> that's it, I'm done. You yeah. ain't getting no more, no more money off me. That's not happening. I think... I only remember the first two. Because uh, the second one's the best one. Yeah, like, the third one, like, the, the sequels were kind of done Matrix style, where, like, two and three were shot back to back. All oh, right. Like, I just remember the third one being overly long and pointless. Yeah. Well, the fourth one is the most expensive movie ever made. Get the fuck out of here. No, yeah, it is. Hi. I don't know. That's the one with the Kraken, isn't it? Or is that the third one? No, that's the third one, World's End. Oh. Maybe it's that one, then. Yeah, because I was going to say, the fourth one just feels so, so flat and so basic. Yeah. Like, because, I mean... Say what you like about the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. At least the first three had a visual style to them. Like, and it was creative. Yeah. Whereas the, the fourth one and the fifth one just feel so flat. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, George Lucas I... likes Formula One. <laughs> you couldn't tell, could you? This scene, I'm positive, goes for about 15 minutes. It, um, yeah, I think it actually takes up the entire length of the movie. It feels like it. Like, yeah. It's already taken too long. It's it's a great little sequence. It just kind of sucks whenever like they keep doing laps. Just yeah. have it be one lap and make it one really long yeah. fuck-off lap with different obstacles different environments different threats and so on and so forth don't show them going through the same shit over and over again otherwise it gets repetitive as fuck basically these three movies in a nutshell exactly <laughs> yeah i don't half of these why what gave him the idea to do this? Oh, look, it's the Three Stooges, but they're droids. Mega <laughs> lols. Get that fucking oh. nine-year-old off the course! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He shouldn't be there. When I was nine, I couldn't even drive a remote-controlled car. <laughs> I know they're trying to explain it. Oh, oh. great, a shit joke. <laughs> Fantastic! By what looks like this is the second one already. An albino shaved camel. <laughs> yeah. Like I know they're trying to explain it away. Like oh my god, yeah, he's nine, but he can use the forest like a fucking baller. So yeah, of course he's going to be able to be class of pod racing. Like, and you need that little scene to just show off his talents and stuff. But they yeah. just fucking ram this shit home so much. Yeah. We get it, you're special. <sighs> Apparently. <laughs> yeah, we already know he's Darth Vader. Honestly, the entire universe could have been saved if he just gave that kid a bottle of Ritalin. <laughs> the best thing that came out of this movie is The Saga Begins by Weird Al. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. That's the best thing this movie did, and that's it. He said the line. <laughs> Fan wang. Oh, look, it's like poetry. They rhyme. Look, look, look. In the back, oh, look, there's a slave layout. In the background there, you can see Jabba's wife. Oh, yeah. shit. 
You know, in the credits of this movie, it says Jabba the Hutt as himself. Of course it fucking does. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt as a CGI nightmare. <laughs> uh, well, it's not as bad as the one they put in A New Hope. Oh, and Harrison Ford walks over his fucking tail? Yeah. Oh, yep. God. Have you ever seen the original cut of those three movies? I have, yes. I've seen all three on yeah. Blu-ray. Oh. Because Jabba the Hutt in A New Hope was this, this like a guy that looked like Shrek. Big fat guy, yeah. yeah. He looks like me after a night out in a kebab. <laughs> With a vest and a white shirt. Yep, that, that's, uh, that's what I call hangover, Stephen. <laughs> Isn't that... 24-7, Stephen? Fuck yes, it is. <laughs> I, live, I live the life of a fucking YouTuber. Of course I'm drunk all the time. Well, I made some bad decisions. YouTube's going in... <laughs> yeah, being on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all going in the bin soon anyway. Oh, it's it? great. I'm going to ride that fucking sinking ship all the way to the bottom of the fucking oh, yeah. ocean. All the way with toy reviews. I've already give up. I just I haven't even uploaded <laughs> a you? fucking video in two weeks. I just I can't be asked. I don't yeah. give a shit anymore. The, like it's for a good reason that they're doing it, but they've gone about it the complete wrong way. Oh, you mean by completely passing the buck from themselves to the people that made them who they are today? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great call there, YouTube. <laughs> like. But the thing is, I don't think legally the FTC can fine anybody. No, I don't think so either. And I don't think they can make well, it stuck. Let uh, like, make, make it stick outside of the US either. No, they can't. So we're safe anyway. Yeah. But... Region two and region four brothers unite. <laughs> Fuck the US, but we thought that anyway. So. Yeah, well, sure, the US is going down the shitter anyway. Oh yeah. Like, the US is fucked. Get Clinton back. We're fucked. Fuck it. I'm emigrating emig to Australia. Fuck <laughs> this. Uh, th well, th we'd be going from extremely cold to extremely hot. <laughs> Excellent. Bring that shit on. <laughs> Need to have a good trade to move oh, to actually, Australia, though. I'll, I'll uh, learn how to be a plumber. Fuck it. I'll turn into Super Mario. <laughs> Well, actually, it takes a lot of time to be a plumber. Ah, fuck it. Over here, at I, least. I know a couple of guys and give me some cheat sheets. I'll be good. <laughs> well, yeah, because here, plumbing and electrician are the highest paid tr trade jobs. Yeah. For some reason. Oh, uh, I should just... But over there, you can do your own electrics, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you can have your own private business. Yeah. See here, electricians aren't even allowed to work on their own house. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because they don't want people screwing it up. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Mark Lonke. <laughs> 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 oh. I hope he dies. Does he die? I forget. Uh, no, I don't think so. He just kind of sits there going, Oh, I've got a face Damn that it. looks like someone stretched a fucking piece of marzipan over an ancient alien. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens built the pyramids. Aliens did build the pyramids. I have proof. <laughs> <laughs> they told me. I have seen it in stories. <laughs> when you were uh, abducted. Yeah, well, the first time that I was abducted, they didn't really say much to me. <laughs> but they did fuck you in the ass. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of probing going on there. <laughs> on request, too. See, I didn't... <laughs> and all they said was McClunky. Do you know what? They did say McClunky, but it wasn't what they said, it was how they said it. 
They looked at me and they said, Stephen. And I said, what? And they said, ma clunky. <laughs> and I just went, take me now. <laughs> <laughs> I swear the aliens in Mars attacks almost say McClunky. Well, I, they mostly sound like, I don't know, like a high-pitched dog or some shit. They're like, oh, yeah, they do. Ack, 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 ack. My conk yeah. <laughs> See, that, that's an example of a bad movie that's enjoyable. It is, Whereas yeah. this is a bad movie that's terrible. See, do you know what the, the difference is between a good bad movie and a bad bad movie? Is that it has to go balls to the wall and it has to be entertaining. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is Completely entertaining insane. about this? It takes for fly space pod. takes forever to do fucking anything. It's so drawn out. Yep. It like it's badly We're missing. We're still not halfway. I don't know what the fuck. Like it, it it's missing another shift. I think they spend way yeah. too long on Tatooine, and then they go to. It takes itself too seriously. Yeah, and then they go to Coruscant, and they introduce one of the worst. Then, fucking places in all of Star Wars which is the Senate which was mentioned in a throwaway <laughs> line in episode 4 and now it's the major yep. focus of all three of these fucking movies how things can go so badly I don't oh, know oh Christ it's because George Lucas for once didn't have someone over him to go no George wind your neck in that's a shit idea yeah he had the opposite. He had Rick McCallum, who was his yes Fucking man. Fucking Rick McCallum. Did you call him literal cancer once? I'm sure you did. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. He, he is just that fucker. <laughs> he, he's that... Do you know what he is? He's that cousin you had when you were a kid that just loved to show you up at no matter what occasion it was. Uh, he was... Yeah. You know, like... Let's say if George Lucas were your parents... <laughs> He was, like, Rick McCallum was your cousin, and you were a Star Wars movie. That is yeah. the perfect <laughs> al analogy. <laughs> so say, like, your parents make you a sandwich, and it tastes like shit. And you eat it, and you, you take a bite out of it, and you go, Mom, Dad, I don't want to eat this. It doesn't taste nice. Meanwhile, your cousin will uh, eat it, yeah. even though it tastes like shit. Yeah. Just to go, yeah. oh, well, what's wrong, Stephen? Mm, that was I think this is very yeah. tasty. Thank you, aunt and uncle. <laughs> yeah. Just to the try and get one over off. you. That's what Rick McCallum is. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah. Is he still <laughs> alive? <laughs> oh, I'll bet he is. We lose the greats. We lose Carrie Fisher. We lose Peter Mayhew. We lose Kenny Baker. But by fuck do we lose fucking him? Of course not. God damn yes, man. There's too many of them. Oh, look. References. Yes, Sand <laughs> people. Jawas. <laughs> I remember. I liked when the Sand people showed up in the Mandalorian. Oh, dude. The fucking one with the Jawas. Whenever he's like, like trying to oh, yeah. like take them down because they took parts of his spaceship. Yeah. Like goes through all that, climbs up to the top of the fucking sand crawler, and there's a ton of them there, and they all shoot him off the top of it. Yeah. Fucking brilliant. And then like later on, whenever he's talking he's to the them, and like, <laughs> it, like they they start laughing at him, and he just tries to burn them with his flamethrower arm. Yeah. 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 Fucking class. <laughs> He's got the best gun, the disintegration gun. Oh, yeah, like the line in episode 5 where he's like, no disintegrations. Yeah, no disintegrations. Now we know what a disintegration is like, and it's fucking class. Yeah. It just turns them into atoms. Rick McCallum is still alive. Oh, fuck me. Of course he is. You know what? He's German. Hell doesn't even want him. <laughs> the Nazis didn't even want him. No. Just just stay here on Earth and rot, you fucking cretinous <laughs> piece of shit. You could have stopped this. You had the chance. 
and you decided to be a gutless little card <laughs> that was like, oh my god, George Lucas is so amazing. Like every scene, it's so dense. Yeah, you're so dense, yeah. Rick, you piece of shit. <laughs> he has made other movies. Fuck, have, have, have we like ever that. heard of them? No. There's your fucking reasoning. <laughs> uh, How the fuck this guy got to work on Star Wars? By Christ. I mean, we've had people like Irvin Kirshner work on Star Wars. Yeah. And Who didn't even want to do it originally. Exactly. <laughs> initially. I mean, like, even now, we've got people like Johnny Favreau and Dave Filoni working on The Mandalorian, yeah. and it's pitch perfect. It's beautiful. Like, so, whenever you hire the yeah. right person, it's fucking class. Whenever you hire the wrong people yeah. around you, then you're going to make a piece of shit. Because instead of calling you out on making something that is goddamn terrible, you will end up making something that actually is good and creative and original and yep. has a fucking point. Yeah. Like, George Lucas could come up to Rick <laughs> McCallum and say... I want to do a scene where um, we see full penetration, where um, <laughs> you know, like uh, Greedo starts to fuck this alien. He uh, he, he fucks uh, <laughs> Jabba the Hutt's wife, um, and and, and that's uh, yeah, and, and and that's a metaphor for how uh, how Anakin Skywalker is <laughs> gonna fuck everyone over. And Rick McCallum would drop to his knees. Pull down George Lucas's trousers and pants yeah. and just start slapping himself in the face with an elderly <laughs> man's penis while going, Your ideas yep. are amazing, George. Yeah. Is is he worse than Kathleen Kennedy? No. Because he no, at least he so. has the excuse of being a fucking moron from the start. Kathleen Kennedy <laughs> has spent years working with George Lucas and yeah. Spielberg. Like, she worked with Zemeckis. She worked with Bob Gale. Yeah. Like, what the flying fuck happened? Well, she turned around and stabbed George Lucas in the back. Yeah, she betrayed him. She ultimately betrayed him. The only reason she's the head of Lucasfilm is because Lucas himself yeah. appointed her that to look after his legacy under Disney. Yeah. And after... Well, did you hear the thing recently that she said that there weren't any comics oh, or books I know. or games? I know. It was to... laughable. <laughs> Fucking laughable. Yeah. Because she was talking about how, like, with Marvel, there's all these comic books and stuff, so you can take them and adapt yeah. them into movies, and that's why it works. Whereas with Star Wars, we don't have that. It's like, meanwhile, you yes. look over and go, <laughs> right, you do know, though, there's an entire expanded universe spanning yeah, fucking there is... decades, <laughs> spanning comic books, there's literally... TV shows, novels, video games. Yeah. And, like... Just do Shadows of the Empire. Oh, fucking Shadows of the Empire, though. That would have made a class 7, 8, and 9. Yeah. But it's too late now, isn't it? Yep, because all the principal characters are either dead in the movies or dead in real life. <sighs> Why did they have to screw Luke over the way they did? I don't know, but be sure to catch Carrie Fisher in Star Wars Episode Nine <laughs> coming to theaters See, next week. At, le <laughs> at least I could understand killing off Han. That seemed like a logical next step, but... Yeah, that and the fact that, you know, Harrison Ford was kind of sick of playing Han Solo, even though he loved yeah. playing Indiana Jones, and they're essentially both the same character. Yeah. But give us this. At least give us one full movie where it's Han, Luke, and Leia together on an adventure. Yeah. That's all we wanted, and we never got it. We never got the three OG characters together for scene number one. Yeah. I feel like they might all end up as forced ghosts in the next one. You mean they'd be forced ghosts? <laughs> well, they'll force themselves upon us. <laughs> McClunky. <laughs> McClunky. <laughs> I, I bet you $3 that the next movie will end on Tatooine. Episode 9? 
Yeah. I I do not take that bet. I know for a fact it will end on Tatooine. Of course it will. Yeah. And do you know what? It will end on Tatooine with Rey looking up at the twin fucking suns. And yeah, that's how it will end. With Binary Sunset playing in the background. Of course it will. Do you think that um, Ghost Luke and Leia will be there? Yes. Yeah. And do you know what? Rey will walk out of this fucking movie calling herself a Skywalker. Yep, that's what the title implies. I'm telling you, that's exactly what it'll be, and I called that from episode seven. Yeah. Honestly, like, if you go what? back through the following the nerd podcasts, I think it's when uh, me and Mark are talking about episode seven, and I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. so um, <clears throat> Ray doesn't have a surname. Why? Like, we, yeah. we know that Finn doesn't have a surname because he doesn't know what his name is. He just, like, he was given his name yeah. of Finn. Poe's got a last name. It's Dameron. Uh, so, mm -hmm. why the fuck doesn't Ray have a surname? And it'll be very, very simple. She won't be related to any of the characters. She's her own character. But she'll pick up the Skywalker lineage. And in order to do that, yeah. in episode 9, I swear to fuck, they'll kill off Leia. Well, they have no other choice, really. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like she'll be like a Palpatine baby, surely. Who, Ray? Yeah. Palpatine? Yeah. Like, the same thing that he did with Anakin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, why? No fucking way. I mean, I bet that'll happen. Surely not. I mean, it's which then makes it's dumb enough Ray, and stupid enough yeah. for Disney that I would buy it. I would buy that's an, that's an idea that they came up with and went. This is a really good idea. Yeah. Fuck that. Well, if that is that, that would make Ray Anakin's half sister. Right, so Anakin is and, v is Luke and Leia's <laughs> dad. Dad. And so it would make Ray Luke and Leia's aunt. Ray would be Luke and Leia's <laughs> aunt. Leia yeah. and Han got together and had Ben. So essentially, Which she's make... she's fucking her own. She would be fucking her own nephew. Yeah, essentially. If they got together. I feel like they won't. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll buy it. I, I, do you know what? After f the fucking dismal bullshit that was The Last Jedi, I'm, I fucking have no hopes for this. Yeah. Well, I'm still excited for it, but I know it's probably going to be trash. Of course it'll be endless trash. It'll just be like a just a whole pile of dust. look at that shit. Like there's a deleted scene there. The reason why they're running, it just cuts to them running yeah. for no fucking reason. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It'll literally be the same for episode what nine. A... It'll just be more <laughs> fucking bullshit. Yeah, maybe they'll bring the Senate back. Do you know what? This is the one lightsaber fight that I think is class, truly classic in the in these prequel movies. Because it's yeah, slow. The one at the end, or this, this one? one? It's slow. It's considered. It's well paced. You can tell exactly what the fuck's going on. But then you, yeah. you get to um, like Obi Wan fighting Maul. You get to um, yeah. like the big fuck off fight between Anakin and Obi Wan in Episode Three. It just looks like two yeah. people going banana balls with glow sticks at a rave. <laughs> I admire the physicality of it. Do you know what? It's great whenever you see Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor with the katanas training in yeah. a gym. It looks really well choreographed. It looks like a dance. It's fucking incredible that they remember all those moves with lightning quick speed. But at the same time, yeah. whenever you take that and put it into a movie, it, ju it just looks daft. Like, what the fuck is that? His chair has got spider legs. 
<laughs> Just see that shit? Yep. Don't try and fucking sneak that past me. His tail's got <laughs> fucking spider legs. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Oh, what? Do you know what? Those outfits remind me of my favorite cocktail. They look like a fucking tequila sunrise. <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh, fuck, I need a tequila sunrise right about now. <laughs> need a few. I, do you know what? Just one of everything, please. Cap it off with a Long Island iced <laughs> tea. That'll get you really plastered. <laughs> God. 96% proof vodka. Fucking right. Give me the other 4% proof. Go on. I need it. <laughs> You might as well just drink ethanol. Fucking hell, right? Just pure, unfiltered alcohol. <laughs> Otherwise known as Dan Aykroyd's <sighs> Crystal Head Vodka. By fuck, yeah. that stuff would take the fucking... That would take the bolts off of a cruise ship. <laughs> Have you seen um, Parks and Rec? I fucking love Parks and Rec. The, um... The episode where Ron and his ex-wife get back together, the first Tammy, and they're drinking the moonshine that his family oh, makes. Oh, shit, yeah. And he's talking about how they literally use it to strip metal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Amy Paul is fucking chugging it. and <laughs> I actually yeah, gets fucking plastered, because isn't it like Ron's mum and Tammy 1 and Tammy 2 all sitting yeah. around the table just drinking the family moonshine? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then he chugs, like, half the fucking bottle. And... Yeah. Fuck it. Like, the thing is, <sighs> I, I wish I was Andy, but I'm actually Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But by fuck, the only reason why I wish I was Andy is because I would get April. And by, by <laughs> fuck, I need an April. Yeah. Oh, I need an April. She's hot. She's amazing. I fucking love Aubrey but Plaza. But she's like... She's not like traditional Hollywood pretty, though. She's... I don't know. I, um, I, what's the word? She's unconventional, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's it's more her personality that I love. I like... She's got these, like... Great fucking dark, smoky eyes as well. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, just... She's really weird. Yeah, I love that. I love weird... Creepy. Weird women. Give me yeah. weird fucking women. Look at my long <laughs> line of fucking relationships I've had. Oh, my God, the amount of women I've had. I, uh, but, like, honestly, <laughs> like if you go back through my history, all of them, fucking mad. Bag of cats, the lot of them. <laughs> fucking crazy. Because the thing is, I can't live a normal life. I can't just have a partner that's like, hello, um, uh, yeah, so I sorted out the mortgage today and fed the cats. You know, I need someone that runs in through the door and goes, fuck, I set the lawn on fire. How did you set the lawn on fire? Uh, the, the, the lawnmower wasn't working properly, so I took the petrol and poured it all over the lawn and set it on fire. But like, but the, the, there was too much petrol and it got into next door neighbor's garden and, and they had a car parked there and then that caught fire and then this petrol tank exploded and it killed their dog. And I'll just be like, that is hot, let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> my long <Right>. hair <laughs> <laughs> Joe they're in there that's the fantastic car from the fantastic four yeah, look at that is. shit it's also it's also like a, um, a wall powerpoint it is Jesus fuck or a toaster The Fantastic Car is one of the dumbest things. I know, but it's great. I love it. I love that <laughs> it's like they didn't even give Johnny a seat because they know he can fly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like when Spider-Man has vehicles. Oh my god, the dumb. spider buggy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking unreal. <sighs> it's just, just literally the only reason why it was included in the comics is so that Mezco could sell toys of it. Yeah. But Spider-Man, oh yeah. my god. Wasn't there one that came out for like the first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire where it was like, 
he has like a, like a Formula One racing car, and you put the figure into <laughs> it, and like it shoots out another figure that looks like Spider Man. What? I think I remember seeing that in a toy shop once. <laughs> That is the dumbest thing. Because like, they've done it for Iron Man, which makes slightly more sense. Yeah. Where like you put a little Tony Stark it, figure into the car, yeah. close it over, and then press a button, and like an Iron Man suit pops out. Yeah. They do that with Batman a lot. Yeah. Like I, I love like little things like that. But the thing is, the idea is that Spider Man, especially in the Tobey Maguire movies, is this put upon, down on his luck, impoverished fucking dork. And they give him a fucking Formula One racing car where he transforms from Peter Parker into Spider Man. <laughs> Fuck, I love dumb toys. I might actually do a video series just on fucking dumb toys that make no goddamn sense. Isn't that what all the Doctor Who ones are? A lot of them are, yeah. Like, the one that I can remember yeah. off the top of my head is uh, it was 2012, The Dark Knight Rises was upon us. And I went, fuck, yep. I need to review something from Dark Knight Rises. So I'm in Toys R Us, <laughs> rest in peace. And uh, yeah. they had this set that it was called The Dark Knight Rises Battle at the Bank. And it was this generic as fuck play oh set with a generic as fuck Batman and Bane. And Batman had the Bat Pod, Bane had the Camo Tumbler. And I fucking yep. love the Tumblr, but not as the Batmobile. I love it whenever it's got the camo no, like yeah. markings on it. It just looks like a really fucking yep. cool vehicle. And I wanted a toy of it. I couldn't afford the Hot Wheels one because it was like 40 quid at the time and I was broke as shit. Yeah. So I went out and bought this little toy set instead to do a review of it just to get that Tumblr. And looking at it, it has fuck all to do with the movie. <laughs> it really does because it's this, it's this weird little I don't know if Australia had them but do you remember Polly Pockets for girls like back in the 90s no. right, okay well there were these like little sets like do you want know Toy Story 4 uh, Giggle McDimples I haven't seen you it you haven't seen Toy Story 4 no. oh fuck that. that's a podcast waiting to happen bye fuck <laughs> I have some fucking thoughts on that movie but no, um, really? right, so basically, um, it's these little like play sets, and they would look like a little house or look like a little heart or something like that, and they would open up, yeah. and it, it would have all this like shit in it, and this little tiny figurine that you would put onto it. Okay. That's what this set looked like. Yeah. It yeah. all folded out, but <laughs> it was generic as fuck, and it had nothing to do with The Dark Knight Rises. I'd yeah. love to do an entire series on just toys that are fucking pointless and make no sense i remember a similar thing but i think it was for the dark knight where it was this huge tumbler and it unfolded and there was like a prison cell and there were oh like shit sky yeah. rises i and... actually think that was for batman begins was it i think i remember one being released for batman begins I think no. I'm sure this one was the Dark Knight because I had the different suit on Batman. Oh fuck! Right, with okay. the straighter symbol. But you, I might be misremembering it. I don't know. Well, whatever the fuck it was, yeah. Yeah. My favorite. Oh look, the Senate. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> it's a gigantic mushroom. Yeah. It's a metaphor for George Lucas's um, the head of his penis. Yeah. It's a chode. It's a big chode. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, no, do you know what it is? It's a, it's a subtle little metaphor and subtle little hint to the audience that this is the drug you need to be on to enjoy this scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we missed the ETs. Oh, fuck, yeah. I forgot. Like, the, there's lots of little Easter eggs in those balconies. Yeah. Kneel well, before Valorum! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the director's cut of Superman 2? I have, yes. It's so much better than the actual one. Yeah, I re a lot of people shit on it. But yeah. I really like it. Well, I think it's a it's a tighter it, movie. It would help if it was um, better finished as far as 
certain CGI shots and stuff. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's they did the but, best they could. They even had to use the uh, yeah. the audition scene, you know, where Lois shoots Clark with the blanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is way better than the fire. Isn't it, though? Because it's like, it shows how insane she is. There's no way in living <laughs> fuck that... Uh, even though Clark Kent is a bumbling moron, there's no way in fuck that Superman would put that act on to the point where he would deliberately trip and yeah, fall into no. a fire. <laughs> this is a guy that can defy gravity. And you're telling me he tripped and <laughs> fell. Yeah. What the fuck? That is what this thing. <laughs> and like the, there's uh, another great little scene as well where Lois jumps out the window in the Daily Planet. Like yeah, yeah, that's but right. Superman doesn't fucking save her. He just lets her fall potentially yeah. to her death <laughs> if it wasn't for that fucking canopy. Yeah. Oh god, there that. See the bit where like he just sat down and went, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's this movie. Yep. But anyway, yeah. So um, I'd love to do a little recut of that where Lois jumps out the window. And it cuts to... And just to, dies. No, just, it cuts to Batman Returns, where Selena Kyle falls through all the fucking awnings and just yeah. lands on her head and dies. <laughs> like a bunch of cats come over and start gnawing on her fingers and, like, you know, the next thing you know, Lois Lane's cat woman. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Elseworlds. Have, <laughs> Have you been keeping up with the um, the CW shows? I desperately tried, but I I kind of fell out of them just because I had so much other shit to do. Yeah. Um. I'm because they're doing that crossover now. They're doing Crisis on Infinite Earths at the minute. I I enjoyed Elseworlds yeah. last year. I watched it. I didn't watch any of the shows, so I had no idea. Yeah. I hadn't kept up with fuck all. <laughs> yeah, no. But I wanted to see Elseworlds, and I really really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna wait until all of Crisis on Infinite Earths is finished, and then, because I think, like, they're doing a couple of episodes, then they take a break over Christmas, and then there's two episodes in the new year that finish it off. Really? Yeah. That's dumb. I know. It's just so they can have a big fuck-off um, cliffhanger just over Christmas. Yeah. But I'm going to wait till January when all that's out, and I'm just going to binge a lot of it in one night. Yeah. Well, Because we got Kevin Conroy's live-action band. I know. Like, honestly, like, the amount of talent they're pulling into this is just fucking unreal. Yeah. Well, they got Tom Welling back from Smallville, and... Sorry, I'm just really distracted by this obvious CGI Yoda. <laughs> That's right. It was not great. How the fuck <laughs> are cars not smashing into each other and causing major midair explosions? Well, they almost do it in the next one. Oh shit! Yeah, the uh, the Enterprise is firing about in the background here somewhere. Is it? Oh look, she's eating all the ships. Oh, I'm dumb, no, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's like Pac Man. Waka 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 waka. Except she's not doing anything. Like, if you look in the background, I'm pretty sure the Enterprise goes past. Huh. It might it might I, be one of those yeah. ones where you have well, to sit and freeze frame it. Yeah. I know R2 is in the new Star Trek remake. He is, yeah. He's uh, one of the pieces of debris that breaks off whenever they uh, go into the middle of the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, just just watch. And it's super obvious, too. <laughs> just, just watch the background. I'm pretty sure the NCC-1701 pops up. Yeah. There it is. Yep, there you go. <laughs> that was worth yep, it. Yep, that was it. <laughs> All two seconds. <laughs> yeah. I don't like Star Trek that much. I don't mind it. I mean, I like Next Generation, but other than that, the rest is kind of crap. Honestly, uh, the best... Star Trek TV series to be released in a long fucking time is the Orville. I haven't seen. I fucking love the Orville. It's it's yeah, so that's, different that's... from how I imagined it to be. Yeah. I really thought it was just going to yeah. be like, Joe kind of like Galaxy Quest. Yeah. 
Yeah. I thought it was going to be something like that where it's just like really fucking dumb and just every episode's just fart, yes. <laughs> fart, piss and shit jokes. But hey, it's on a <laughs> ship that kind of looks like the Enterprise. It's like Star Trek, but with fucking like gay jokes or uh, like really fucking baseline shitty humor. But it's yeah. not. It's actually, it's basically Seth MacFarlane went, I'm a multimillionaire. Um... What the fuck can I do? Uh, okay, let's do a movie where a teddy bear comes to life and talks to Mark Wahlberg. Let's do that. <laughs> fuck it. Right. Let, let's. And, and now he's basically going. I want to. I want to do dress up and cosplay as a Star Trek character, but I kind of want to turn it into a TV series, and I want to be <laughs> Captain Kirk. But the thing is, yeah. it's made with way more love and heart and time and patience than any than it has any right to be it is so fucking yeah. good honestly i'd really recommend it could you imagine if he did a star wars movie it would pretty much just be like a load of people standing around going hey dude bro yeah bro my lightsaber's <laughs> bigger than yours bro no way bro <laughs> Hey, pop culture reference, am I right? Ha ha ha, that makes no sense. We're in space. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you're right. Jesus well, I mean... fuck. Sorry, sorry, but the, the way that they use Samuel L. Jackson in these movies, uh, like, they should be arrested for fucking crimes against humanity. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson works at his best... Whenever he's the loudest, baddest motherfucker in the room ready to blow yeah. everyone else away. Not this guy that sits on a fucking beanie chair and goes, we, we have you on this council, but we will not grant you the rank of master. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. Yeah. Like, he, he should be the guy that goes, motherfucking Sith, motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. fuck you, man. And he's just fucking cutting bitches with his purple <laughs> lightsaber. That's pretty much his last scenes in Revenge of the Sith. I know, what a fucking waste. <laughs> ah! Which lightsaber is yours? It's the one that says bad motherfucker on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's true or not because I I'm inclined to believe it but it might be a lie I think it had BMF engraved onto, oh, onto okay. the hilt but I don't think it actually said bad motherfucker yeah uh, at this point you can tell Liam Neeson yeah. has given up because he's gone from his shitty yeah. Nowheresville accent straight to his fucking Cookstown accent honestly I talk to people in the street or in, in the pub every day that sounds exactly <laughs> like that maybe you might be talking to Liam Neeson oh yeah sure he's a, he's a good friend of my dad's lives, lives just up the road from me he's a, he's a good man's Liam yeah likes his, <laughs> likes his Guinness he's a, he's a Guinness drinker he likes his bush mills apparently he has you know, he likes his whiskey <laughs> apparently he has a horse cock yeah, yeah, I'd say you would do. That's basically what you do. See, if you're successful and you're Irish, that's that's all you do. You, you buy a plot of land from a farmer, you build a big fuck-off mansion, and you just do weird shit in it. <laughs> that thing, by the way, that's projecting Palpatine, that fucker has spider legs yeah. too! Yeah, yeah, it does. What the fuck <laughs> is it with shit having spider legs in these movies? Darth Maul gets them in the Clone Wars. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with wheels? <laughs> Get some wheels. It works for Professor X, and he's got mind powers. Fuck's your excuse. Well, he has, he has the floaty one in the nineties cartoon. Oh yeah, that's true. But like you know, like. Fuck it. I'm sure he's got mind powers. He can have a floaty chair. He like, doesn't have fucking spider legs. The, the Jedi have mind powers. Yeah. So what the fuck? 
Fucking spider legs. They could make themselves float. Yeah, but like, there's a difference between floating and having spider legs. <laughs> oh, there's no spider legs in the original trilogy. I know. And the original trilogy is good. Coincidence? <laughs> well, I think so. <laughs> how much do you want to bet Palpatine has spider legs in the new movie? Oh, you know he will. <laughs> he's, got, he's got these big fuck up. Do you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna be like Jeff Goldblum at the end of the fly. Like it, it just it it finally reaches final form and just uh, like his melted face will just like fall off. Yeah, and slop to the ground. It'll be this weird little alien insect thing. <laughs> he grabs the lightsaber and puts it up to his head and tells him to turn it on. Yeah, no, like pal- like rail run into the fucking throne room. Or whatever the fuck it is, with her lights were raised and go, it's over. Put your hands on your head. And he's like, you know, fucking Edgar from Men in Black. He's like, put my hands on my head yeah. like this, bro. Just rips off his Palpatine <laughs> face and and he's bas- and he's Watto. He's just this whole time. He just turns into Watto, with, complete with the little wings. But, like, because he's just malted out of his Palpatine form, like, his wings are all, like, wet and stuck together like a butterfly, so he has to go, uh, well, well, wait a minute, I just have to dry out here on a leaf for the next six hours. (laughs) And then die in two days. Pretty much, yeah. It's a sick joke. Are you watching... (laughs) Are you watching this with subtitles? No, I couldn't give a fuck. I'm doing this all purely from visual... (laughs) <laughs> I have it with subtitles on, and whenever Jar Jar speaks, it is the most retarded things. Yeah. Sure, so you don't even need subtitles to do that. No, not really. Although, I will say this, though. There was one good thing about this movie that I really liked. The PlayStation 1 game. I never played that. It was fucking great. I got a copy of it whenever I was about like 10 or 11. Fired up the old PlayStation. Yeah. It was class. It was like a proto version of what um, uh, Force Unleashed was like. No, I mean, oh, really, yeah. really rough. Like, you would go up to, like, so, yeah. like, you play as Obi Wan and you go up to, uh, like, a battle droid and, like, like, you could actually pick what questions you asked it. Yeah. And like, um, you cut the fucking bitches down to size, you could deflect fucking blaster fire. Like, it was great for its time. Like, you try and play it now, it just looks like pixelated mm. garbage, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, back then, Did it was great. Did you play the... Sh- yeah. Did you play Shadows of the Empire? I never played it, no, but, like, I, I did a lot no. of, like, um, like, I would watch bits of it on YouTube and that sort of thing. Yeah. Like, it looked right, like, I loved the bad guy in it, you know, like, the, the weird alien fuck with the ponytail. She's all. She's or yeah, that's him. Yeah. Like, he tries to fuck Leia at one point. Dirty bastard. <laughs> yeah. Does. <laughs> oh. Better than this. So much better than this. <laughs> Bra- Imagine if they had it done the Throne Trilogy as movies. Oh, man. You want to get my deck hard? Let's talk about Thrawn. <laughs> ah, fucking evil blue bastard. And I haven't seen Rebels, but apparently they ruined him. Oh, no, I gave up with Rebels. Like, I really, really tried. Yeah. I'm excited for the new season of The Clone Wars next year. Oh, yeah. Like, that. Uh, they announced that way, way too early. Well, because it was supposed to be out already. Yeah. And then they pushed it back to February. That's fucked up. But, like, I remember them, like, fucking and announcing it, like, well over a year ago now. Yeah. I think it was last year. Fuck. Or early this year, at least. But... Why is there, like, a big Buddha head on this planet? <laughs> Because why not? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Whatever at this point. Why would this guy make Jar Jar Binks a general? Because he's insane. 
He liter- Jar Jar literally trips over, and he doesn't say anything. He just laughs and walks away. But th- this is the fucking guy that got banished <laughs> for being clumsy. And the yes. same fucker that banished him is now saying, be a general. <laughs> Do you know what I think it is? He wanted him to be cannon fodder. It was like... <laughs> Misha think that you, Jar Jar, you be the first wave of attack. <laughs> I just I just expect to watch from the battle lines as Jar Jar gets fucking opened by a wave of fucking blaster fire <laughs> from uncaring, unfailing droids that don't give a fuck. Yeah. Have you seen the deleted scene where Jar Jar is in the river and then he goes off the waterfall? Oh, yeah, like that's um, whenever like the, the submarine goes over the, the side, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would have been a great death. That oh, would have been amazing. Do you know what? The, the CGI really is ropey as fuck in this scene. Yeah, it doesn't hold up. I love as well, well that I mean, like they did this whole thing where they were like, oh, look, Natalie Portman was the queen the whole time. This other one was a decoy. And it's like, you both look fucking identical. And, you, and not <laughs> yeah. only that... Kieran Knightley's speech pattern was lowered deliberately to make her sound like Natalie Portman too. Yeah. More spiders bu- bullshit here. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> there is. <laughs> what the fuck? Take a shot every time you see a spider leg droid. Why the fuck does this thing need to even exist? Why have a portable <laughs> one of those? That doesn't make... Why not just have the little one in the hand? Yeah, or like the little wrist communicator or some shit. Why does that need now, to exist? Now, this was the first shot... Of the teaser trailer? Of the trailer. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. And it looked like Star Wars. <laughs> not this shit. Yeah. The last... Well, how many... How, there's still 30 minutes of this. Oh, fuck me. Well, actually, there's probably going to be like five minutes of credits, maybe ten. We can only hope. The last part up from here till the end of this is pretty good. Like the Qui Gon Darth Maul fight. The yeah, but it's just. I mean, it's not good. It's it's that whole thing of ramping up the ending in every single Star Wars movie. Yeah. Like the ending. Is that Windows XP? And the yeah, that pretty much is. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> but like in the in in fucking in Star Wars, the proper one, New Hope, the the entire end thing was trying to take out the Death Star. It was one ending. Yeah. Then in uh, Empire, it was Vader beating the fuck out of Luke, while the rest mm-hmm. of them tried to rescue Han from Boba Fett. Then in um, Return of the Jedi. It was Vader versus Luke again. It was Han and the Rebels trying to take out the shield generator. And the third thing... Yeah, a space battle. Trying to take out the second Death Star. <laughs> so that's three endings. And this one, it's got four fucking endings. You've got the Rebels trying <laughs> yeah, to storm the castle. You've got the big three-way fuck em up fight. You've got the space battle. And then you've got the battle with the Gungans and the droids. Yeah. So that's four endings. <laughs> and it's it's split up wrong and the pacing is fucked yeah and the worst thing is that's what George Lucas said I can't take any of this out because it's all interlinked yeah <sighs> I'm glad that he doesn't have control of this franchise anymore are we though are Disney much better um, I would say The Force Awakens is better than this. Well, yeah, The Force Awakens is better than this because they tried their hardest to rip off A New Hope. <laughs> but, I mean, this kind of did as well. Yeah. To a lesser degree, but, like... Oh, but, but well, mate, it's, it's like poetry. 
They rhyme. <laughs> Isn't that a Mark Twain quote? History never repeats itself, but it does rhyme. No, I don't know. Probably. What I, what I don't know where the fuck Lucas gets sure. his ideas. <laughs> his asshole. Pretty much. Well, I, was, I mean, I, this I was, is basically destroying the Death Star. It is. And, and do you know what? Those fucking trade federation ships, that's a Death Star just with, like, a, like a, a fucking... A, what the fuck? Donut do you, around Yeah, it. it's like a donut with someone's taking a <laughs> bite out of. Yeah. A croissant. That's what it is. It, <laughs> yeah. It's a dough ball <laughs> and a croissant. <laughs> Although, in all fairness, I think you could get a toy of this, and I desperately wanted it. I had the Lego one. I think that is fucking cool. Yeah. Look at the way it just, like, fucking dispatches them. I mean, there are some good things about these movies. Nothing that redeems them. No, but... no. There, there's nice little ideas in there, but they're, they're usually <laughs> all from, like, a visual aesthetic. Like, the, you know, the, the, there's nothing there in terms of story yeah. or dialogue or character. Oh, no. The best thing about Empire Strikes Back is that George Lucas had the least amount of involvement in it. Yeah, and it's the best one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he wrote the story, but all of his dialogue was rewritten by Lawrence Kasdan. You know. Thank fuck for that, because Lucas just writes the most cheesiest, namby pambiest bullshit. You have turned her against me. You have done that yourself. <laughs> I hate you. Only a Seth deals in absolutes. So, because you're a bad well, person which... now, I must murder you. <laughs> which makes me no better than you. Yeah, but sure, fuck it. Sequel, the prequel trilogy's nearly over. Let's just beat the shit out of each other and get this over with. <laughs> Have you seen that meme where it's Luke when he first see, meets Ben Kenobi? And he's like, Obi-Wan, that's a name I haven't heard since I cut all your dad's arms and legs off. Yeah, and left him to burn to death by the side of a fucking (laughs) flowing lava river. (laughs) And then I stole his lightsaber. You want it? (laughs) (laughs) It's still got his hand on it. Oh, fuck. That'll come in Wait, it would have still had his hand. (laughs) This song... I mean, the soundtrack for all of these movies are pretty great. Yeah, Jill of the Fates is fucking fantastic. And then, um... Uh, Battle of the Heroes and Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Oh my god, he's got a double ender! Which... <laughs> they spoiled that in one of the trailers. Yeah. I think it was even in the teaser trailer. It was... It was just to make people go... It might have been. Oh my god, it's a new yeah. type of lightsaber! But I'm the double-ended ones aren't very practical. <laughs> no, they are not. You'd even see it points well, I mean, that like they've had to CGI over it, but like Ray Park is actually yeah. holding part of it where the blade should be. <laughs> I haven't noticed that before. That always fucks with me, and they still do it to this day. Because I saw this one poster for Rise of Skywalker. Where it's like Rez yeah. hand holding the lightsaber and fucking Kylo Ren holding his lightsaber and they're crossing over each other. The the placement of where Rey has her hand, the entire top part of her thumb and forefinger should be burned to shit. <laughs> yep. Like that's the logic of all of Honestly, <laughs> the lightsaber is one of the most impractical weapons I've ever fucking seen. Yeah. Like, you could do more damage Unless... to yourself than to anyone else. Yeah. Unless you have, like, a perfect knowledge of how to use it, then you probably shouldn't use it. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what pissed me off about Force Awakens. Finn picks up the lightsaber and goes to town on Kylo Ren yeah, with it. Yeah, can use it. And, like, yeah. he doesn't cut himself. He doesn't hurt himself. To be fair, Kylo Ren was injured as well. But... Yeah, but I mean in terms of Finn picking up a fucking yeah. lightsaber. Did, 
did Finn ever use those, like, the electric riot batons that you see, see earlier in see the See, that's movie? the thing. We don't get any setup to that at all. Yeah. Like, he he uses it in episode 8 against Phasma. But that's it. He does too. Traitor! Ah, oh, fuck me. That just seems like so, <laughs> so long ago. Oh, that's questionable CGI. All of this is questionable CGI. What the <laughs> fuck? Some of it's better than others. <laughs> what are those balls that they're firing at the droids? Because they, I think they come. They have a. They're spunk bubbles. That's that ties back to the <laughs> yeah. Michael Jackson conversation. <laughs> but but they've they've got clearly got electric in them. They're from an well, underwater yeah. civilization. They might be like weird giant fish eggs or something. The, the, yeah, like some sort of weird electric eel fish egg. <laughs> and they eat them. They're a delicacy. Yeah. Jolly fucking class. They fire one at um, Jimmy Fox and he turns into Electro from Amazing Spider-Man 2. I don't remember that movie. I try and forget it. It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's worse than this. It actually is. Congratulations, Phantom Menace. You're not the worst movie I've ever fucking seen. You're on the fucking list, no, though. Goes... The worst movie I've ever seen is Anaconda versus Lake Placid. I've seen that. That was on Netflix for a while. It's fucking horrendous. It's... Yeah, it's the worst thing I've ever seen, genuinely. I mean, The Irishman is probably pretty bad, but... The Irishman's all right. It's just it's the same as any Scorsese movie. It's just overly indulgent yeah. tripe for half of it, and it goes for three and a half hours. Yeah, again, overly indulgent tripe. Even yeah, even Endgame doesn't go for that long. At least it's entertaining. Yeah, it's a wonderful fucking mess of a movie. <laughs> have you rewatched Endgame since? Um, have I? I'm not sure. I haven't watched it in a couple of months anyway. Because I think there's certain parts of it that don't hold up, but for the most part, it's still pretty great. Yeah, no, it's it's a... If anything, it's a fantastic little nostalgic trip through all the other movies. But... Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's bits in it where I'm just kind of like, what the fuck? There's some really weird editing choices in it, too. Especially in the first half. Yeah. It kind of zips about all over the show. Yeah. Like they, like they keep saying like, that, oh, oh the, the stuff with Hawkeye's family disappearing was supposed to be in Infinity War. It shows. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's... Completely different tonally. It's so McClunky and out of place. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when you're a kid and you make up absolute bullshit? I genuinely yep. thought that these, whatever the fuck they are, ray shield things, whenever Maul hits it there with his lightsaber, and, like, he puts it away, I actually thought these things were powerful enough that they cut his lightsaber so it was shorter on one side. <laughs> but it just turns out it's crap perspective in terms of the CGI. Yeah. What are they, what are those force fields even for, like? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck they work. No. Oh, look, here we go. A funny bit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, look at how funny he is. Oh, look at that, kids. Here's your new hero. A constant fuck-up that looks like a moron. <laughs> He just said, uh oh, big boomers. Okay, boomer. Ha ha ha. That's a meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. There's a fucking great bit, though, whenever he grabs onto the turret of one of those floating tanks. And, like, he pulls it. And <laughs> yeah. For some reason, it overbalances oh. the tank. Yeah, here. Where, like, <laughs> he gets, like, and it starts digging this crescent moon shape into the ground. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. And I think at this... Yeah, here we go. This is the point where I just start losing my shit with this movie and start laughing for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing because it's broke my head. Because it's shit. I don't yeah. give a yeah. fuck anymore. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. Jar Jar took down, like, fucking Battle Droid just by being a fuck up. That's great. <laughs> George Lucas said that Jar Jar is his favorite character. George Lucas has so many things, <laughs> mostly wrong. <laughs> and an idiot. Yeah, who doesn't understand his own fucking franchise. <laughs> have, um, have you seen the... Was it Collider? They did the... Um, the actors or celebrity round table but they were all impressionists and they did the oh um, the deep fake what's it called yeah, yeah that one that's funny as fuck yeah like I saw the one was like but Robert Downey every... Jr. and shit in it yeah but too fat yeah <laughs> and George Lucas was skinny yeah it was really odd. Like, their Tom Cruise and their Jeff Goldblum was fucking great, though. Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty good. Who was the... Oh, Ewan McGregor was one as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was really good, too. Yeah. And was there another... No, that was it, I think. But I, I feel like... Oh, Darth Maul's lightsaber went from bright to dark and then bright again. How the fuck did that happen? Um... It's 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 a metaphor to show how evil he is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> no, you killed the old drunk that I actually kind of liked. <laughs> I f I'm sure that's the only time you actually see a lightsaber go th straight through somebody in these. Yeah, movies. it's fucking great. It has an exit wound. Yeah. <laughs> what are those little white things? I, d I Where did they come in? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Is it getting us closer to the end of this fucking garbage fire of a movie? Brilliant. I don't oh, give a fuck. 15 minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, 15 minutes is nothing. I'm nearly 30. I, I know how quickly 15 minutes can pass. <laughs> Not when you're watching this shit. Oh, uh, fuck. And the worst thing is, like, these fuckers, like... Yeah, it's great that they're all masks and prosthetics, but, like, their fucking mouth mov movements do not match up for shit. No, not at all. Their mouths hardly move. Now, you know what the worst thing about this is? There's still two more to watch after it. Ah, uh, dude, fuck this. I, I regret this decision. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I regretted this as soon as Jar Jar showed up. Oh fuck! <laughs> she is just not intimidating or imposing at all. She's no. half the fucking size of those fuckers. <laughs> yeah, she's like four foot one. It's just four foot fuck all. <laughs> yeah. See, I like the anger that Obi Wan has here. Like he's just. Pissed Have off. you seen the rematch between Obi Wan and Darth Maul in Rebels? Yeah, that's my favorite fight scene. Isn't that fucking great? Yeah, it's over so quickly, but it's just it's yeah, it's what a lightsaber battle should be. It's it's, it's about the emotion and the connection between yeah. the two Have characters. You Have you seen the analysis of that fight scene? It's like um the best lightsaber jewel in all of Star Wars or something. I haven't, but I'm going to look forward to saying that. Like, I noticed, like, yeah. uh, Obi-Wan goes through three different fighting styles and stances yeah. before he um, allows Maul to attack him. Well, the last one that he goes to is the one that Qui-Gon has in this. Yeah. And obviously Qui-Gon gets murdered. Yeah. So He's... Maul figures that he can kill Obi-Wan. Because he even does the thing where he hits him and that tries to hit him in the head with the hilt of his lightsaber. Yeah. And he just fucking chops him in half it's just the other way. Fucking cuts him like a bitch. Yeah. What the fuck's wrong with your face? <laughs> I love this as well, but 
by no discernible talent, Anakin Skywalker, by being a fuck-up, has destroyed the entire spaceship. Well, that's what this whole movie is. is. Jar Jar did the same thing. Yeah, that, that's the theme in this movie. Be a mindless, gormless fuck weasel that just does weird <laughs> shit and tries to get away with it, and you'll succeed. Yep. Like, look at this. There was no skimming down a fucking trench. There was no skill. Nope. There was no trying to hit the fucking the little reactor exhaust or whatever the fuck it was. It was literally, how do we defeat this entire army of badass motherfuckers? Send a kid in there. <laughs> but he did try spinning. That's a good trick. You know what also is a good trick? Don't do math. <laughs> That's how this movie was made. Uh, fucking math. George Not even like once. Math, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, in the um, expanded universe, Obi Wan used Qui Gon's lightsaber after this for a while. Yeah, and also, um, that's the crystal that Luke uses to build his green lightsaber in episode yeah, 6. That's right. Actual blood, though. So, was it? It was CGI as fuck, but, like, yeah, you saw, like, that line of blood. There's no blood there. Oh, there was blood there, actually. Yeah, just whenever he chops through him. Yeah. Another great little thing too is that now, Maul never blinks the whole way through the movie until he gets cut in half. Doesn't he? No. If you watch closely, he never oh. moistens his eyeballs once. <laughs> Just until the Apparently, um Yeah, far away. Apparently Hannibal Lecter does the same thing in Silence of the Lambs. That's right, yeah. Hey, well I don't think that's hey, true. Hey well fuck this entire universe up. He'll bring right. balance by killing about 600 children. Yeah, he'll, he'll murder lots of children. It'll be great. <laughs> and, and, He's worse than Hitler. And, and, and the best thing is, I take no responsibility for this. You're the fucker that's training him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Qui-Gon is the whole reason this shit happens. And that ship really looks like a dick. Like, I say... Like, <laughs> it does. It looks like a dick with three balls. <laughs> like, I know... E.T., the extra test. I know, yeah, that's what it is. Like, I know, like, uh, there's a lot of phallic spaceships in Star Wars, don't get me wrong, but that one is, that, that's a cock. That is a cock and three balls. Oh. It's even got the little fucking hinge end, you know, that connects the end of the penis to the scrotum. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, what the fuck? What were they thinking? Oh, this fucked me up. Uh, you know the the fucking weird as fuck song that they have at the end of this? You know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the fucking Emperor's theme at a higher tempo. Yeah, I heard that the other day. Yeah. That fucked me up. The Emperor's theme or Imperial March? No, the, the Emperor's theme. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's some bad Yoda. Yeah. That's fucking Clone oh, Wars yeah. shit right there. Because <laughs> the thing is, they have to CGI over the puppet's movements. The puppet, yeah. Which must... Well, I mean, they did a pretty good job at that, of hiding the puppet. Yeah. But I think they've actually mapped it to the movements of the puppet. Yeah. So you see, he's not. I'm surprised they got Frank Oz back for this. <laughs> I know. But like you can see, he's not moving with the the natural flow that Yoda has in episodes two and three. Yeah. Like he has that jerky puppet motion yeah. still. Yeah. Hey, let's stand around and watch a corpse burn. <laughs> that is fucked up so they didn't... no wonder that fucking kid became Vader he's a nine year old he has to <laughs> witness a human being's corpse being burned to ash well it ended up happening to him didn't it fuck yeah what will happen to you now you'll get burned to death 
<laughs> well, oh, sorry. I'm like, you, you'll be you'll be killed by your own son after living for twenty years inside a robot suit, and then your corpse will be burned just like this poor bastard. Ironic too that even though he's doused in fire, his fucking beard isn't singed off, and his clothes aren't no. burning. <laughs> What the fuck type of fire is this? Is this space fire? Is this how fire works in yeah. space? Apparently. Oh, Palpatine's the Emperor. We couldn't guess. Oh my god. Nah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Did they put this song at the end of Return of the Jedi? The remakes? I don't care. <laughs> I, d I don't. <laughs> Just fuck this movie. <laughs> it's almost finished. And That's a good thing. What, 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 what's the deal with the big fucking glowy ball? And, and so Jar Jar can take a trip over and murder a bunch of people when it explodes. <laughs> Imagine if he did and that's how Anakin died. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I would say to that? Ma clonke. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Pink Yoda. That's just fucking wrong. <laughs> Evan Peel, I think his name is. Oh, Jesus. Get it? She's dressed like an angel. Yeah. Are you an angel? <laughs> Boom! Yes. Entire fucking thing blows up. <laughs> yeah, he just throws it to the ground. Yeah. Just takes out the entire block there. All of them dead. I'm gonna fuck you when I'm older and my dick works. <laughs> I'm gonna choke you to death. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like a rough. And thus, <laughs> the biggest waste of fucking time ends. <laughs> Thank you, George Lucas. How long did that because take? Because, in all fairness... Two hours and ten minutes. In all fairness, the movie may be a sad piece of shit, but by fuck, I have enjoyed shitting on this for the past 20 years <laughs> now. Yep. What a miserable, <sighs> dismal disgrace of filmmaking that was. That was a ride. <laughs> that was a real roller coaster of emotions of hate. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it, raw. Yeah. We gotta we gotta wait for the credits where it says Jabba the Hutt as himself. I'm sure it says it. I I'm willing to take your word for it at this point. <laughs> oh, and stick around to the end, kids. You'll hear Darth Vader breathing. That means something. <laughs> that it's time to leave the fucking cinema and go the fuck home. Yeah. Uh, they, did they give Liam Neeson top billing? Yeah. Copyright infringement. <laughs> and Frank, I was as good. Well, that was shit, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's basically what this podcast can be summed up as. <laughs> that that <laughs> this entire movie was a piece of shit. It took us an entire yeah. commentary to reach this understanding <laughs> that this movie can go fuck itself. Yeah, one one commentary and not the twenty years that people have been shitting on it. Yeah. No, that this is the the final shanking in the prison jars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the the straw that broke the camel's back. This this is the deliberate hard hit man murdering the pedophile behind prison bars. Yeah, that's what happened to Michael Jackson. Yeah, it's also what happened to Richard Huckle. Burn in hell, you pedophile! Fuck. I don't know who that is. Uh, Jim Jimmy Savile. Look, Jabba the Hutt himself. Yay. That's a nice little <laughs> piece of nothingness. <laughs> oh. Anyway, we could probably end this now because that was... Fuck yes. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this piece of shit. Do you know what? If you like um... listening to this in the comment section, you know what to write. McClunky. <laughs> but but I'll leave yeah, it if, how if it's you... pronounced up to you, oh gentle <laughs> listener. If you put every second letter as a capital and every other one as a lowercase, that's fine. Yeah, if you want to mix and match around, we'll know how to pronounce them. Yeah. 
But uh, Makunki, that's <laughs> that is just and- dirt. That is filth, and you should fucking burn in hell <laughs> if you write that. <laughs> You sick fuck. And that's where we're going to end it off. <laughs> McClunky. McClunker. <laughs>